So like this side that we're that's facing us is the closed side. Doesn't make much. <laughs> okay, what are you doing up there, Bar? Here we go. Come on down. Hey everyone, Rally here, and thank you for joining me today as we play some Ark on the Primitive Plus Gaming Evolve server. Back on top of our nest here. And last time we built... Oh, a little bit of framiness there. Last time we built the smithy. Uh, and I had an issue where I couldn't get... Um, I couldn't get anything to light. And <laughs> thankfully you guys are pretty smart. And you told me that it's because I put the smithy... Or the forges and stuff over top of water. In a place where it probably thinks it's in the water. Which means it will not light. So we're going to do a little switcheroo. A little flippy floppy. We're going to take the stuff from the inside. We're going to put it... On the outside, we'll flip that around too, because I just punched the wrong way. So we can take the inside stuff and put it on the outside. And then then put the outside stuff on the inside. <laughs> and then hopefully, hopefully, that'll let it work like it's supposed to. So I'm going to start gathering materials up for that so we can get things rolling. And I'll bring you guys back once we are ready to start moving stuff around. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, I've made just a couple changes. I just wanted to show you something I didn't know. Uh, so... I don't know if you guys have ever made the wall torches in the regular game, uh, but they've actually made them better here. Like, I don't usually use them because they take flint and metal and a bunch of weird stuff. It's three thatch and one wood. Like, that makes perf that makes perfect sense. That's what it should be. Uh, so if you look at my hot bar, you'll see we've got some more stuff down here. Uh, all we've done so far is... Let's go ahead and get a little game before you guys. I wanted to get the, the torches up before I did this, but, uh, but you know, I just when I saw what they're made of, I had to show you guys. So we just kind of moved the smithies inside and got rid of our bar that was in here. And this, I mean, this is already kind of the workshop as it was. All this stuff's kind of already out in here. So we're going to just kind of leave that the way it is now. And then out here, we're going to have to make it like like a, I don't know, like a selling area, I guess. So I made some weapons racks and stuff like that so we can kind of try that out. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is let's go ahead and get a, a torch up here so we can, uh, we can kind of see. Do I want to do... Do you want to bracket it or just put the one above? Um, you could put just one, like, right? Can I reach that, though, if it's up there? Let's just put the one in between these two, right there. And then, do I... I don't even think I have anything. Fuel, oil, spark, powder. Just, can we use wood? <laughs> like, I mean, we should be able to. But uh, it does say oil and spark powder, so... Let's just grab some of this real quick and see. I don't think I can jump. No, I can't jump over there. All right, so let's go ahead and try putting just some wood in there. Yeah, can't do that. <laughs> All right, so uh, we can't just do wood. We could do oil or spark powder. It's uh, do I have any? Do I have oil for the lamps? I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, but it'll probably work. Just take five and put it in there real quick. Probably just make a bunch of spark powder once this is all done, but I just kind of want to see what we can do for this. Oh, beautiful torch. How I love thee. <laughs> all right, so we're going to want to put some on these guys out here as well. Now, the question is, do we want to put them on the inside or do we want to put them on the outside? Because, like, getting them to, to be, like, lined up when we're doing this from the water is going to be a pain in the butt. But I do think it's going to probably look the best. Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Maybe we'll put them on the inside. So I just put a couple barrels down because I wanted something to kind of look cool. Alright. Uh, so what if we do this thing? So the concrete pillar stays in the same spot, right? So the, the, the word. So if we just put this kind of like right in the middle of that, just above it. I should do the same on this side, right? Okay, that moves a little bit, but not by much. So that should be pretty close. Did I bring any more oil with me? I did not, because I was not thinking about the next two. So let's go ahead and get some of those. And this, they're not going to, you know, it's not going to be on forever. Because I'm only putting five and five in right now to kind of see how it looks. But that's cool. Okay, so five, 
And some fire. Uh, uh, okay. And some fire. Yeah, okay. That looks good. Decent amount of fire. So now I've got to kind of fill this in to be kind of the selling-ish area, right? So uh, let's use a bar. Now, I've tried putting one of these in earlier, and I realized that it goes backwards from where you expect it to be. So, like, this side that we're that's facing us is the closed side. Doesn't make much sense. <laughs> okay. What are you doing up there, Bar? Here we go. Come on down. So, that doesn't make a ton of sense, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, let's go ahead and try to line this up with one of the lumber planks here. And then... Is that, that really doesn't seem all that straight. Is it straight? Yeah, it's not bad. So the question is, I probably want to have it like out here. Oh gosh, okay. About to fall into the water. That looks relatively even. Let's do it. We're placing it. Okay. That's cool. So this has the open side over here, like you can kind of see there. So then we've got some weapons racks, which is obviously kind of what we're going to be selling. We're going to be selling our wares here. So let's go ahead and get that guy in there. Now, does it just look empty until we put something in there? Oh, I can't put an arrow in there. Pickaxe? Okay, so it just kind of, it just kind of puts a little bit of stuff in when you put in thing. Does it change if I put in a different item? Uh, bow? No. Okay. So it's going to be the same stuff no matter what. That's cool. So we'll take this back out. We'll make some basic tools. Just leave them in there. So we're going to have that there. Um, probably want to put another one of these back here. How does that... I kind of want to look that way though. Right? Can I, well, can I twist these? I don't remember if I could do that. Oh, yeah. Most certainly. Get that guy there. And then I made the market stall because I kind of wanted to see how that looked. Uh, I don't know if that's going to make sense for this. And there's trading crates, which I'm not really sure what those are. Oh, I should put one of those, those lanterns on here. You're being weird. I'm trying to stick to a bunch of weird stuff there. Okay, so how does this stall look? That's okay, that's pretty cool looking. Let's take a look from out here real quick. Alright, so that I mean is that stall gonna make sense? We're gonna put the stall at. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We could put it in the back, I guess. Let's just yeah, let's go put it in the back real quick. So let's just put it right here-ish. So it's straight. It's relatively straight. Just right about here. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. And then... Oh, these just snap right in? So, I don't understand what I... I locked it and I unlocked it. What do I do with those things? I can't... All I can do is lock them in place or unlock them. That's weird. Okay, let's... Can I pick it up? I can pick it up. And then I could... One here. So that's weird. Like, you, you can't interact with it other than to pick it up. There's no F. E will pick it up. It locks and unlocks, but there's no F. So you can't, like... You can't, like, get in there and do anything with it. It's just... It's there. Ah, that's right. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so, let's see. What else would we need up here? You know what I think we kind of... I'm feeling like we need... Um, it's probably a training dummy someplace. I don't know why we'd need that. Maybe I mean, if we had armor we could put on there, pretty sweet since we're running the smithy. But we don't really have armor we can put up there. But, I don't know, it kind of feels like we need something like that. And I think I want... How's it look out here? I think I want to put another weapons or heck in still. Maybe I'll put that inside. Yeah, maybe we'll put that on the inside. Okay. I know it's dark. It's kind of weird. 
I'm going to get just a couple more things placed and then I'll bring you guys back to kind of show you what I hope will be pretty close to the finished product. Oh man, this is looking good, guys. I still need to put those pontoon foundations out there, but I like how this is turning out. This is kind of like the selling area for the blacksmith, you know, the blacksmith shop. Shop. <laughs> We've got our weapons rack, got a training dummy back there, some crates and barrels just to kind of be up here. I think this is looking pretty cool. And that, oh yeah, that's nice. Let's go ahead and take that off so we can just kind of see this here. That's pretty sweet. And then we would just go inside here. We got a duck still, but we just got the uh, got the forges working in overtime, ready to roll. Just getting our firing stuff done. The whole cool thing here is that, you know, if, if we had four people here, you could each be working on one forge and working in your own workstation. Yeah, this turned out pretty good. Now, I've got these grindy deals here. Um, I don't think I've even made a weapon from this yet. Steel ingots I need. Yeah, steel ingots. So we got to make a bunch of steel to get that stuff working, but... This looks pretty cool, I think. It's not quite what I had in mind originally, but it still turned out pretty nice. I definitely like it from out here. Let's look at that again. Oh, yeah. That's just really cool. I think that fits very well. Yeah. All right. So that is what we got going on for this. It's finally working. As you saw, I could finally light some fires. I had to lose the fireplace, which I really liked having that fireplace out here. The I think seeing that um, I think seeing that the chimney stick out of there is pretty cool. Um, I, I may put it back in even if it doesn't work because it did look pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and get out here and take a peek again. Fly over our little nest there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Whoop. Yeah, I think that turned out nice. Good time of day, too. Gave a quick screenshot. Redesigned a little bit. Uh, you know, one of the things I really like about Primitive Plus is all the little, like, detail stuff. Like, the weapons rack and stuff, having weapons in it. The the fact that the, uh, the wood, oops, the wood storage will, like, fill up with, like, pieces of wood. Like, it's just, it's a really cool thing, and it, and it makes a huge difference with how good this looks when it's all done. You know, I'd like to see a couple more weapons on here, because why not? You know, why not? But the stalls would be cool if we could actually put stuff in here, but it's still, either way, it still looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I think it turned out good. Yeah, I like, I like how the barrels and the crate turned out, too. Kind of just, like, you know, random stuff hanging out. I wish I could put, like, tools and stuff down on top of the the table and have it work like I'd like to like there's a hammer and and some of that stuff would be cool if we could just kind of put it down on the table but yeah all right let's take a peek from out here again yeah I think that turned out nice all right so this is probably going to be a bit of a shorter episode I just want to kind of get this straightened out this was driving me nuts uh once uh once <laughs> once I realized what the problem was I just seemed a little silly <laughs> So let me just take a look real quick and see what we need to make some pontoon stuff. Because uh, it'd be nice if we could probably get some of that stuff done. So let's go ahead and take a look here. It's in the construction table, I believe. Uh, structures, wood. Yeah, so I need wood plank, iron ingots, and cementing paste. And I got a ton of cementing paste, so... Um, yeah, I guess... No, oh, crotch. I guess I'm going to get working on some of that for you guys. Uh, and I'll bring you guys back uh, probably to finish up with some pontoon bridges. So I'll be back in just a few. All right, guys. I don't have all the stuff made. I just kind of made a couple so I can kind of see how this is going to work. So I think we're going to start here. And then can I put... I can't put a ceiling back. Because it seems a little weird to have, like, the pontoon end and still have water right there. But what are going to do? All right, so the idea should be then to kind of take these guys out and around this area. And then I think we're going to end up going... Those guys went, I think, too deep. So we're going to go too deep. Oh. We're going to go too deep across the entire front and across the sides. Probably go too wide as well. So I need a whole bunch more of these. So it's going to be a little bit... I just figured I'd show you guys kind of what I'm thinking we'd end up doing. So too wide, too deep for pretty much everything here to give us our landing area. And that should probably be enough for us. So, yeah, I'm going to start working on that. 
I'll bring you guys back when that is ready to roll. Alright guys, this should be the last round of metal that I need to pick up. You can see we're just kind of, uh, we've got all of these guys firing. They're just making a bunch of uh, iron ingots for us right now. I think that is the last I need to make the last pontoon bridge. So, let's go ahead and put that in there. Wood, pontoon bridge. Yep, that should be it, because I think I just needed seven to kind of get the, uh, the basic shape laid out like I wanted to. Uh, I did build something else, too. I don't, I guess I'm not quite sure if it's blacksmithy or not, but... Um, I built the oil container that we have here. So that's what it looks like. Big old oil tank. We'll go ahead and just put some oil in there because we can. And then I think, as long as I don't do anything stupid, we should be good on this now. So we want here. Okay. Getting, getting the the snaps are a little weird. Oh no, see? That's exactly what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to mess something up, but I did. Which means I'll have to get some more, uh, some more stuff made. Uh, uh, getting these to snap is really weird sometimes. This is worse because I've got the pillar there. So it's trying to snap off the pillar. Alright, I'm gonna have to pick, get rid of this one. And unfortunately, it's just demolish. Which will make some more of that then. Okay, yeah. There we go, good. And then I just need the one for right there. So, uh, I guess I was wrong when I said it was the last time through. Let's go ahead and get that last, last little bit taken care of then. But this is nice because, you know, we're getting this stuff four times faster than if we had just the, what, three times faster? If we just had the one there. Because uh, we are able to cook on all of these at the same time. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's go ahead and eat this old meat. What? Oh, wood planks. Do I have enough if I do that? Haha, <laughs> two. Hooray. Alright. One last one to put in to get us, you know, reasonably done. <laughs> go ahead and walk around in the pontoony part. Ah, oh, very, very nice. And then, right here there we go all right let's take a look at our creation oh yeah this looks good yeah it turned out pretty nice i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh i know that it's nothing crazy we did but it's nice to kind of get this working like it's supposed to be uh so now we actually have you know the the shop part out here the forge and stuff's on the inside, but this is kind of a this is kind of an area to sell things. If we were gonna sell, you know, cool tools and stuff, I can make some stuff in the uh, the grind wheels in there and get some cool stuff for us to have out here. So, yeah. All right. If you guys have enjoyed the episode, please feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content, and I will catch you on the flip side.